In my opinion, there are four different levels of understanding most modern men have about the role a woman plays in their life. The second one, in my opinion, is the most controversial as most men, the majority of men, I feel have a very strong belief system about how that relationship dynamic between men and women works in a uh, more platonic way form so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to share a little mind map here and go through the difference of level the different levels of understanding of these forms and hopefully you'll be able to see how some of the, the relationships the female relationships you have in your life fall into these and how you can see the value of them and, and maybe where you're being a little bit immature and how to articulate and network that feminine dynamic of relationship in your life to yield you better value and results so here we are um, the role of women in your life the sex toy the lover and the god realizer so this is level one here on the uh, on the right hand side the masturbation toy i was at this stage guys i was at this level where i had a very poor relationship with women in that i would purely look at them from a sexual context and a, um, a hole to fill and I know that's a very crass way to describe it, but I would uh, concede that many of you have uh, been through that phase. Maybe you're still at that phase. Maybe you feel you won't get over that phase, but I promise you it is a very, very superficial layer and it will you, it will not bring you much joy at all. It may bring you pleasure, but it's very fleeting pleasure. It's finite pleasure. It's cheap pleasure. And believe me, that uh, cheap pleasure becomes to uh, numb you in the end. Um, typically your relationship is based on physical attraction at this level and nothing else no mental attraction no spiritual attraction no emotional attraction it's purely predicated on what you can uh, uh, reap through the senses i guess you can say i mentioned here that it's pleasure orientated and very low commitment from both parties i would summarize the psychology of a man who typically puts most of the women that he has relationships in this bracket as uh are well, not really they're not really men it's it's the evolution well physically they may be men but psychologically their their levels of understanding is that of a uh, a child um the reason why is that it has a high resource investment for very very low returns meaning that these men are typically spending a lot of time on dating apps or in nightclubs or uh, social context where promiscuity is kind of pushed you know bars pubs clubs things like that um so you've got time investment there which is one of your most valuable assets um, I think I mentioned dating apps as well. I mean, it takes so much time to start to pour your time and energy into um, you know, uh, talking to women and getting to them a place where they're being sexually reciprocal. But also finances, maybe you're taking these women out on dates, maybe you're taking them out for drinks and things like that. And the return on investment is usually one of a sexual gratifying act, right? And maybe, I mean, I know some men that uh, would get bored with, with you know, all that hard work at the at the front end get to that sexual gratifying act and then they they cut ties they cut ties and for me it didn't really make much sense to do all of this hard work and investment to the stage where i get that and that's that that's it that's that's the end of that particular process but like i say level of boy psychology i think the second stage is one that i would like to see many men jump to from level one to level two which is that of the friend connector and the networker meaning your relationship is that of one of uh, you know a more platonic one without the inferences of uh, a, a sexual domain let's say and uh, many of you will be screaming your heads up but joseph i read on twitter i hear on uh, I hear on you know these red pill YouTube channels that men and women cannot be friends, it cannot be done. I really disagree with this, I really do. I, I see where it comes from, and I think that in some respects there will always be an element of sexuality between men and women. I think there's no there's no denying that whatsoever. But you have to remember that these men who are saying this are typically people who have been 
uh, indulging in red pill ideology for a significant period of their life. And also, they're probably still addicted to sex and pornography and a promiscuous lifestyle, meaning they've never got to the point of self-control to even consider that you can have a platonic relationship with a woman without overbearing sexual overtones. Guys, this is all about sexual control, about disciplining the animal here. Of course, if you can quit pornography, then being platonic in a platonic relationship with a woman is... It's fairly, fairly simple, especially when you realize that you can access high-speed pornography from the comfort of your phone. I've always said quitting pornography is like trying to quit a cigarette smoking habit, but there's always one in your pocket. You have to have willpower. You have to have control. So what are the values of having a woman in your life as a friend, a connector, and a networker? Well, first and foremost, similar values and uh, virtues that the woman can teach and clarify to yourself meaning that women can actually be very very good teachers i don't mean logically i mean empathically because they kind of relate to themselves uh, through emotions and emotions are kind of universal language points meaning you will be able to discover more about yourself than you thought you would by having a relationship with a woman. Very, very intuitive creatures and can tell you a lot about yourselves the female uh, women that i have in my lives that are friends have arguably taught me um, the same, if not more, with less in terms of how I approach learning, meaning the masculine side of things is rationalizing and using logic, doing a lot of reading, concrete, physical things, whereas women can kind of reveal things to you on an empathic, a feeling level. It's very, very powerful. Uh, Personal growth. I already kind of talked about this already, but seeing women beyond the confines and the overbearing powers of sex. And once you're able to do this, you actually realize you get more sexual opportunities in the future because women, again, are very intuitive creatures. They see through a man's facade their bullshit and trying to, um, you know, try and find a connection with them because they know ultimately they're just interested in the physical Um, the physical confines of that relationship and uh, once you come into a relationship with a woman be it a friendship with no sexual connotations it's actually it's actually quite alarming in in or alarming isn't the right uh, adjective to use it's quite confusing for a woman especially if she's an uh, attractive woman why this particular individual isn't trying to have sex with her so that can kind of work both ways depending on what you want from that outcome You've also got relationship opportunities from other women, meaning one of the big advantages having female friends is, is you get access to more women because you get access to their friends, you get access to their network. Meaning if you're looking for a relationship and you're, let's say, swiping on Tinder or you're in, you know, contexts where you're meeting women, bars, clubs, pubs, whatever, uh, social venues, gyms, um, you get the picture. And you're, you're constantly feeding yourself this idea that if you, you go and introduce yourself to a new woman, it has to be under a romantic pretense, then you're always going to fail short because you'll never be able to see that approach from the perspective of maybe I could make friends with this woman and then I could also get access to other women and therefore a wider pool of selection and the opportunity for her to introduce you and make social arrangements. It's, it's all about, you know what it is? It's proximity. The number one indicator for being able to get in a relationship with a woman is proximity, meaning how much, how, how close you are to them uh, physically. In that most of your relationships with a woman that you've had in your life have been through school and have been through work. Why? Because you're spending the most amount of time there and you're in close proximity to other women. Proximity. Also social proof of value, meaning that if other women are seeing you in the presence of female friends, they will see you as higher value. So being friends with women is is actually... um, is actually very, very powerful if your objective is to find a high quality relationship. This is really healthy if you're in a place in your um, in your development where you, where you or your life where you don't want to commit. I think this you should double down on on, on networking here.
But if you're ready for a relationship, it's time to get a teammate and a business partner, of course. Maybe the differences between two and three is the physical attraction component of it. They're going to add value to your life in terms of the natural feminine energies that come with it. Nurturing, love, compassion. Um, But it's really important when you're moving in this direction that you can ultimately see an end goal. Because otherwise, you're just going to waste time. Meaning if you can't see this woman as the mother of your children or your wife, I really believe that you're wasting time trying to uh, trying to entertain a romantic element to it naturally but again some men uh, some men get caught here they get caught here outsource business systems now i know this sounds really really um what would you say maybe harsh or uh, too logical or, or or business savvy but you have to realize that women if you're a very self-sufficient man if you're a self-made man then she's only going to want to help facilitate you spending more time with her. And if she can, and if you can do that by outsourcing some of the work to her, that can be a very, very viable option. I'm I'm not saying it's an option for everybody, but that's certainly, certainly something that I have had some success with in the past. And it's actually helped bring us closer together and also let us spend more time uh, together. And of course, we can't, we can't talk about, um, enough you know the opportunities for for building a family uh last but not least a spiritual teacher irrespective of the relationship works or not meaning that be having a relationship a close re- relationship with a feminine as you being a masculine man is going to actualize your relationship with god and bring that closer why because it is god in essence it's union yoga the term yoga actually means the union between the, the male and the female or masculine or feminine so you will find that you will find synchronicities, um, the opportunity to actualize and receive God when you have a very healthy relationship with uh, with women. Uh, deep psych- psychological work. So I mentioned, even if the relationship doesn't really work out, but hopefully it does, it allows you the opportunity for more spiritual growth in the form of developing your relationship with the, f- the female sides of things. I know this is called masculine theory and it's part of my branding, but I believe the most masculine men have a very healthy relationship with their feminine side of their softness, their nurturing. We all can tap into masculine and feminine energies irrespective of our biology, but having the presence of the other in our environment in the form of a good relationship can really, really accelerate that. If it doesn't work, Shadow work can be an opportunity where you can start to see where the relationship between the masculine and feminine went wrong, how you can plug that hole, and how you can enter a healthy relationship into the future. You can also start to rehone and reevaluate and um, uh, progress and evolve your ideas on on love. Love is a very divisive word. It means one thing to another person and something different to uh, a former or a latter, but it's one of the most important forces in this world, if not the most important thing in this world. I know it's not a subject that most men like to uh, talk about as it leaves them very, very vulnerable, but um, it is a key pillar, a key cornerstone in family, if that's what you're interested in. So gentlemen, I hope this was uh, I hope this was valuable. I hope this was enlightening. And I hope most of you really start to do some work in this area here because it is so, so, so valuable in respects to if you're looking and still seeking a relationship, I know most of you guys have probably watched this because you're single and you want relationships. Do not be, do not be swayed by the red pill rhetoric that you can't have a platonic relationship with a woman in your life. Because not only can you, but it is so, 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 so valuable long term if your aspirations are to start to get into the threes and the fours here. But like I always say, gentlemen, these are just theories. Take what is valuable, discard what is not, and I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Take care.